Hi guys, today I have kind of a old beat up doll look. Uh, so first I just put on my foundation as normal and also my concealer. And then I am bronzing my face. I'm sorry this part is out of focus. Um, yeah, it gets better later, but I'm strongly contouring with a smaller brush and kind of making a curve into the side of my nose. And this will give the appearance of puffier cheeks, I guess, chubbier cheeks. And then taking a super hot orange blush and putting a lot of this on. Um, so don't be afraid to go all out with the blush. And then I put some on my nose as well. And now I'm just concealing my brows because um, this will kind of conceal the outer portions of my brows, but if you want to go all out and cover your brows and make a whole new shape, you can do the glue stick method, and then I'm just setting that with a powder. Now I'm going to redraw my brows for a uh, smaller looking brow, just kind of like a line basically, because dolls don't really have super on point brows and then I'm taking a white base and just putting it on my lower lash line and also my lid and this just helps prime and also help open up the eyes and then I'm just setting that with a white eyeshadow and now I'm taking a taupey color and kind of making a circle cut crease but very dramatic and above my crease so that I don't have to close my eye for you to see it and then just blending that out with a blending blush brush <laughs> and then uh, putting a little bit more on the outer corner and then I'm going to take a darker purpley brown and put that in my crease as a kind of darker cut crease and then blending that in towards the center and then applying a shimmery white in the center on my lid for highlight makes my eyes look a lot more round. You kind of want your eyes to look round in this look um, for the doll-ish effect. Now I'm taking kind of a gray eyeliner and lining lower than my than I normally would line. This just makes my eyes look bigger and um, the white really helps with that. And then I'm just connecting it to my upper lash line so that it looks um, like it's my real lower lash line. And then I'm taking a liquid liner and just doing fake um, four or five fake little eyelashes they, they don't have to be perfect um, but yeah dolls have like painted on lashes and then I'm taking a liner and putting this on my upper lash line and making it thicker in the middle um, or closer to my tear duct this makes your eyes look rounder instead of elongating your eyes you are going to make them look rounder And then I am just doing some fake lashes. You're basically doing um, many winged eyeliners, just many wings, um, so you can see. So that when you close your eyes, you have some mighty big lashes. Um, so yeah, and then I'm just applying some pretty dramatic false lashes. These are from Ardell, I believe. I, don't, I do not remember the um, exact number, but um, yeah, I was having kind of trouble with these, so the front is kind of like sticking up as you can see, and then just putting on mascara. And now I'm concealing my lips because we are making a new lip shade and then blending that out and then just setting it with powder. Now I'm just taking a fuchsia lipstick and making my lips super small, kind of like if you've seen a Queen of Hearts tutorial, kind of like that, just the very center of your lips. And then I'm just applying a um, cranberry lips gloss on top. So you can see my lips are a lot smaller. Now moving on to the zombie part, you're just going to take a brown and put that under your um, eyes first and then bring that kind of up to, on the sides of your nose and then you are going to add um, contour on the sides of your nose and then add purple and this just gives it more tired and blending it out. Um, and you're just going to use many colors, blue, um, brown, I use a lot of red here, and then blending that out with a buffer brush and my finger. Um, the red will make you look irritated. And then I'm taking green on kind of like the outer portions because bruises get kind of green. And then I'm taking a brown on the sides of my mouth. Um, I wish I didn't do this liner. Um, if you were doing this look, I would suggest not doing this liner. Um, I feel like it doesn't look very good. but. I just took that and blended it out and then I'm making a bruise with red and brown I'm starting off with um, and then I'm adding blue 
and some purple and green and uh, so yeah and now I'm just taking a sponge with some foundation and putting that over my bruising um, this just makes it look more real and that you have some flesh still as you can see it adds a lot of dimension and does it make it just look like shadow on your face it makes it look um, contoured and this is just a really easy way to give that bruised look so I'm just taking that on the main shiners of my face and then um, just kind of on random places and the foundation adds a little bit of shine which some like fresh bruises have shine now moving down to my neck I'm taking a red uh, and brown and contouring the angles of my neck and then adding a bruise by doing the same technique as I did last time um, it's kind of trial and error for the bruises just add more or less of each color and um, you should be good to go and then doing again with foundation and adding some blue on the sponge and um yeah now I'm just taking some red and putting that on my lips um, I didn't use any blood in this tutorial just because it's a doll and dolls don't really have blood and then for my hair I'm just putting them in super messy high ponytails or pigtails uh, I didn't even like brush my hair or really even look in the mirror and then I took just this bow and I'm just wearing a pink shirt this isn't a costume or anything and then I'm just kind of poofing up my hair so it looks really messed up. So yeah, that is basically it. Thank you so much for watching.